I think the most interesting one is that um, armed forces. Armed forces was a headline because the um, South African National Defense Force uh, claims to be broke. Uh, it has no money to host uh, Armed Forces Day, which they normally host, like since 1917. What happened on uh, Arms Day a uh, uh, military. So okay. it's basically like awards. Uh, no, it's not awards. I think they're just celebrating them. Like uh what is this? Teachers Day, for example. Okay. You know okay, what I mean? Okay. But is it a national thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a thing, bro. It's That's been crazy. a thing. But we wouldn't know about it because we're not in that space, right? <laughs> yeah, well the kids don't the kids don't go uh, to the army anymore. <laughs> yeah, but now they're gonna learn about it because we're gonna talk about it on this podcast. That's actually because it's top trending topics. It's something they didn't know about, but now they will know. Yeah, and we've yeah. never talked about something yep. like that before. So the day is actually on the twenty first of Feb, which is this Wednesday. Okay. But they are not doing anything. They'll probably host something at uh, uh, Mampinki's Tavern. Mampinki, <laughs> Mampinki, nah. Mamrubi. <laughs> okay, Mamrubi. Because the budget, if the budget is not allowing, it's uh, it's on uh, every man for himself. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? <laughs> no, but uh, the, these discussions or uh, these gatherings are always uh, uh, sponsored by somebody who's got something. Eish, yeah, maybe corporates will pull through for them. Let's yeah. hope so. Yeah. Uh, cause I feel like, yeah, the homies work too hard, man. But I saw him and Mashaba also writing something on Twitter about, uh, multi-billionaires that come out from this industry okay. because of, um, I don't know what exactly, yeah. but check out his tweet around this. He responded to this on the 18th of Feb. Okay. Mm. We'll definitely check that out. I see Paga Paga and Real Madrid are also somewhere in yep. uh, trending Bugs in, topics rather. Bugs and Jujuzin was actually playing Sundowns. Okay. Yeah. They conceived uh, one red card though. He, 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 he popped Paris. the bugs. Yeah. Oh. Uh, they they drew one they one. Drew. Okay. Yeah, spoiler yeah. alert. Yeah yeah. Okay, that's interesting. And I didn't watch it Real Madrid to be honest, and but I see they here. Yeah yeah. Uh, I also don't follow football, but uh, since it's around the headlines, I had to just check the highlights. You know. Yeah yeah. I just had to watch the highlights and and understand. So Real Madrid played twice last week. Okay. It played on Tuesday, where it won 1-0. And Who was it, where are they playing against? Uh, what's the name of that team again? I, I think I, I it, it's not one of the team. popular teams. I think teams. it's Real Petit or something. But yeah. Uh, yeah, those ones, not for real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <I do. laughs> it's real something. No one said it's fake. But sure. They always put real. Uh, and, then, and then I see we come from Lover's Day. Don't mm. forget Lover's Day. Why are you going past Lover's Day? Mm. Hey, Lover's Day is another one, eh? Yeah, Lover's Day was something else. Yeah, Lover's Day was something else this year. Um, uh, what what did Lerato Khanyako actually do? This year? Because she, yeah, she normally like shuts it down every the year. The last time she booked out FNB Stadium, mm-hmm, isn't it? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> She's been the bar, but I don't know who was the bar this year. But a lot of I, people, I saw a lot of influencer girls. They were doing things for themselves. It eh? was nudity, uh, wasn't it? Yeah. It looked nudity, like they were Why? all in lingerie. Like, like, we also want gifts on Valentine's Day. That's your gift, my boy. Nah, dog. I get that <laughs> gift every day. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, I think that's sort of what happened for the week. But yeah. uh, we're going to touch on just the trending stats and let you guys know exactly. I love those shades. I must yeah, say, you man. Love the shades, yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. I love those shades. I'm man. going into like a spaceship type Ooh. of thing, you know. I'm moving. I'm transcending. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Debs, we're gonna come back now. Now, but I hope you guys are subscribed to the podcast. If you are not subscribed to the podcast, yeah, please make sure that you subscribe. Take this opportunity now. Yeah, to for subscribe. sure. Take a take an opportunity. Yeah. So we're gonna take a little break. We need to speak to our sponsors very quickly. But we're gonna be back. And and just in case you don't know what we do, we have random spot prizes. If this is your first episode, <laughs> we have random spot prizes. <laughs> so make sure winner. you watch the entire episode. Yeah, you so might, you might get winner. something. You yeah. you might just become a winner. Definitely. We, yeah, Stay we tuned. might go Oprah Winfrey on you guys. <laughs> everybody get it, everybody. <laughs> Introducing Color Space, a stock photo platform dedicated to showcasing images of black people. Whether you're a professional photographer or you just know your way around a smartphone, sign up, submit your photos, and start earning through your creativity. Visit www.colorspace.co.za. So much that's been happening, eh? Yeah. 
What what else? What else? What else? Okay, hold on. This might like Joel Santana would say. What <laughs> else? I'm just what shocked. Else? They just koi fish. What else? Sure. Octopus. Oysters. Who are all these oysters and octopus? <laughs> um, the state of the na- state of the province address is happening right now. Ooh. Um, at Nazareth. I don't know what that what that is and what it means. Can somebody explain that to us? I think it's similar to the state of the nation because the state of the nation they address like um, uh, what the what the country is going through, how they're gonna resolve some of the problems, sure, and yeah. all those kind of things. I, th- I think this one is a smaller one where it's more provincial focused okay. than national because Gauteng has its own problems and Gauteng has its own goals towards um, for the next what for uh, for the next year actually. Sure, yeah, yeah, I understand. Do. Yeah, yeah. And I see, obviously, the premier of Gauteng will be there. I think that's Lesefu. Yeah. Is he the premier of Gauteng? He is. Okay, he is. Yeah, he definitely will be there. Uh, yeah, I mean, definitely the EFF is obviously involved in this and they're going to come up. And then I saw something so crazy, bro. Mm. I don't know if you saw this. Do you know Elsa? Elsa Majimbo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. She's... Instagram sensation, or is she a, a TikTok Twitter? or whatever. TikTok, whatever. I okay. think Instagram. I think Instagram. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She put out a video uh-huh. where she talks about Naomi Campbell. Okay. And how she's basically afraid that Naomi Campbell could come after her. So basically, in this video, she explains that um, she made, it like, in summary, she made up with naomi campbell oh naomi campbell hit her up and say you dope blah 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 i'm on holiday do you want to go on holiday with me type of thing blah 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 then naomi campbell spills an idea to her and then she comes back like maybe i think a few months later or a few weeks later she ha- she tells naomi hey i'm there's a film about me that's coming up about this this thing that you told me but it's not from what you told me it's already been coming then Naomi says, I'll sue you, blah, blah, blah. So Naomi's been in like, yeah, it's a whole like hectic oh, thing. Oh, damn, like, bro. Like a hectic thing. Oh, she's, damn, bro. She's basically coming out saying she's scared for her life. No, but there's a paper trail on it. There's a paper trail based on the holiday that they went to and when uh, the manager, uh, whenever they reached out to the manager, Yagama Jimbo, go to, yo, let's work on this. Yeah, sure. So they can look at those dates and be like, yo, this conversation has been happening all along. Yeah, but I, I get you. But she, I think obviously for her, she's like, she wants to talk about how she was badly treated by Naomi Campbell. Mm. Obviously seeking protection because most people, I'm just seeing the comments, they, they're like, um, they hope that she's going to be safe because they know Naomi Campbell is a big figure. Like, she's powerful. Yeah, she's, yeah. yeah. She's yeah, one yeah. of those powerful figures that are known globally yeah uh, and so they're afraid it for her life basically most some people and mm. there's been a conversation going around to the amongst the two k's and obviously it's reached some some streets some sure streets. sure yeah damn and, uh, g as tungis we as tungis as tungis yeah is he, find, he getting married again he, he find he, re- he revealed the face of his new boyfriend oh damn that's cool for her yeah him. Uh, him sorry for them yeah uh so yeah that's news that's actually been happening and then i think the other one we forgot to talk about which i think is quite important i don't know if it's in our trending topics um let me just check if it is i don't think it's in our trending topics but the congo conversation yeah, the Congo conversation is, is, is serious, man. It's quite, it's quite deep because I know Cyril also deployed, President Cyril Ramaphosa also deployed, uh, was it over 2000, uh, uh, military personnel to go to, to Congo and help out yeah, with, with so the, says, with the yeah. war that's happening there. Yeah. So they said it, you know, the, he also did go to Congo and um, the DRC, was, yeah, DRC, yeah, yeah. and uh, they had a meeting about common areas of interest, which including the restoration of peace and security in the eastern DRC. Yeah, so the eastern is where it's hectic. Yeah, that's that's where it's hectic, right? But the west, the west side is not as bad. I see. Yeah. This, mm. So yeah, I mean that's big, big, big news. We saw this. Trending during um, the Afghan, yeah, the, the yeah. players demonstrating, yep, and and then it's also spread out quite a bit because it's reached players like Rom- Romel and Lukaku, who's um, he's not even from Congo, but he I think he scored a goal on the weekend and he's posed like that too, yeah, saying free Congo. So we're seeing quite a lot 
about Congo. Is he, is he from France? Uh, he definitely plays for France. He plays for no, France. No, no, he plays for Belgium. Ah, but, yeah, but, I, think but Belgium, be- yeah. I think I, I don't want to call them. Percent. Yes, that's what that's where I was getting to. Yeah, that's yeah. where I was getting to. Basically, <laughs> that yeah. Uh, so I think that's definitely what's happening there. But yeah, that's big news. We thought we should definitely cover to cover for you. We know that it's in our word cloud uh, sure. for the day. So sure. it's a big conversation. And then, Benjamin, should we get into it? Let's get into it, man. What are the numbers looking like? Like how many people tweeted last week? Sure, yeah. How many tweets? So I think let's start in the Exes, tweets, right? so whatever we call exes. it. <laughs> I think the stats still remain. Nobody calls it uh, X. Exes. Yeah, exes. 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 Hey, like, yeah, it's so yeah. confusing. But Elon doesn't care. But anyway, yeah. Uh, so the amount of tweets that went out last week is 7.1 million. Mm. And it's a uh, 3% decrease from the week before. Okay. So from last week. And then in terms of people that tweeted, we got 121,000, which is a 13% increase from the week before. And obviously we're seeing the trending topics being Orlando Pirates, Real Madrid and Arms Forces. Sure. Um, you said we're going to talk about Armed Forces. When do you want to talk about it? Maybe now? Uh yeah yeah because I get I, I said um it's around the budget okay that okay. armed forces it's a uh, the uh, the S A N D F so yeah. the South African National Defence Force said that they were too broke they don't have money to host uh, armed forces day yeah so yeah uh, which is meant to be this Wednesday. Uh, that's not going to happen, basically. That ain't happening. That ain't so, happening. Like you said, it's a national day for them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, look, let's skip on to that. So should we, should we talk about um, the mood? The sentiment. The sentiment yeah, the let's mood. look yeah. at the sentiment. What what does that look like? We're not, look, we're not seeing a lot of changes, bro. I'm not yeah. Gonna, so in the positive, we're seeing a 7% decrease. Of Oof. course, that's a change. Um, so now we've got a, under a million tweets. I think it's back to reality. That's why For this sure, is happening. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of... Afcon uh, is done. Of course, yeah. So we're going to look at the word cloud. What sure. it says. Afcon is done. And now it's actually time for politics. We know that politics sure. has been going sure. on. Quite sure. The wars that are going on also. Yeah. Uh, but in the negative, we're not seeing an, a movement at all. So that's... I guess <laughs> people are steady good. negative. Yeah, they're steady <laughs> negative, you know, from the week before. <laughs> but right, it's in the same way. Yeah, yeah, nasty yeah. Attitude. It's the same nasty attitude as last week. Uh, <laughs> but we obviously know that uh, we're seeing over 1.7 million tweets that have been negative. Mm. And it's not just the, the tweets in total, of course. It is always the, the little words that you use in between. Yeah, them. yeah. But let's look at the word cloud. So the word cloud actually for the negative sentiment, let's start with that. I yeah. see there's Congo there. Yeah. Uh, I think it was post, is it post FCON or during the finals? I know the day after that, on the Monday, the Congo conversation started coming up. Oh, yes. It did. Congo, con- Congo, when did Congo play? Um... That, were they playing for third? I think we were playing against Congo. And yeah, we beat we, Congo. Yes. Yes, we beat that, Congo. That's when they actually did 100%. Exactly yeah, yeah. 100%. So I think it was us just saying, hey, guys, we beat you here. But, yo, we're going to send our forces to Congo to come for help sure. you out. You yeah, know? for sure. Yeah, that's definitely good to help them out. So we're seeing in the world that obviously Congo's Congo is in Congo. Congo. ANC is enlarged, bro. It's the biggest word. Yeah, it's right the now. biggest word. It's the, it's the buzzword. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely is the buzzword, but we know why because I mean, elections are coming up. Elections are coming, and obviously, um, ANC just hasn't had a good, um, I want to say a good PR story. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. They keep messing it up. Uh, Angas Ganjan Fix just gets on stage and he messes a lot of and things he says up. A lot of things. Yeah, so I think the NC is caught up deep into their lives. They're getting deeper and deeper into their lives where they just keep on lying to us, and I think it's so obvious that people can see. Yeah, but obviously they'll get votes. And I think those those people can still see. And those people are dangerous too, actually. I am fine. My uncle disappointed me this weekend. Yeah, he, did he say? He was talking politics and he's like, I'm still going to vote ANC. I was yeah. like, nah, Angst. <laughs> I was like, nah. But you know, there's a lot of... I, I, not that I'm trying to tell him who to vote for, but I yeah. was like, look at the current situation that we are in. Yeah, right. Is, and know, vote right. wisely. I just said to him, vote, vote wisely. wisely. Of course, yeah. No yeah. one can tell. No, uh, no, no. You vote. can't tell yeah, people yeah, how to yeah, vote. But yeah, I was yeah. like, and it's fine. We don't need to. You're gonna die vote. soon, homie. Yes. My kids are gonna be here. <laughs> Dude, yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm to, saying? We so we need to, to think yeah, of that. Yeah, for sure. So ANC is enlarged. Of course, we see South Africa. South South Africa is there. Julius Malema is there. Okay. Julie. Israel is also here. Yep. 
Uh, Hamas is here. And then breaking, it obviously must be news. Yeah, breaking news. Definitely. Sure. There's always breaking news in South Africa currently. For sure, yeah. Gap ahead. Gap ahead, Tanga And then, of course, we go to the positive word. I positivity, Chan. Positivity, oh. Chan. There's FCON, there's Valentine's <laughs> Day. Valentine's yeah. Day made it. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. Good morning. Sa- Mr. President is there. I don't know which president, though. Yeah, it says president. Yeah. That's interesting. Ronwen is here. Our Ronwen, savior, our savior. Yeah. The key savior of all saviors. Of course. I think a bank should get Ro- uh, Rowan Williams on a campaign like I right now. Like, while it's hard. Right? While it's hard. Yeah. You know? I wonder who his sponsors are, who his team is. I mean, they need to do the if right If there's thing no sponsors, them. guys, this is a perfect opportunity. Straight up. Yeah. Slam dunk. Valentine's. Hey, Valentine's. How was your Valentine's, bro? Hey, man. Man. Just drama on drama. Nothing to do with the missus, though. Okay, just fair, just fair. Other family stuff. Like yeah, that, right? just family stuff. And So, interesting thing before. Sorry, I know to cut you off. Yeah. Interesting thing. I was hoping I would bump into you into the, in the flower shop, actually. Is it? Yeah, so I'm, I was rushing in there, buying some flowers. Ooh, um, for who? Yeah, for who? For who? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check the socials. Hey, follow me first, actually. You might okay. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> oh no! Wait. If you subscribe to the podcast, uh, but on a serious note, so I ju- I jump in there and it's only guys. Yo. Literally, it's only guys, and the guys knew they were so late because it was in the uh, afternoon ish, or the day before Valentine's Day, and all. But you can't buy flowers the day before. You know what I mean? Why not? No, they have to be fresh from the. From the florist. Hey, Baba, I'm about to explain why. Okay, it was let's see. to buy the day. Or oh, order. Just order them and then collect on the day. Fair enough. Yeah. But then some niggas want our surprise, you know, girl when she gets, you know, when she wakes up, like, hey. Hey, okay. When she opens her eyes. You know? Okay. Now hey. she opens her eyes and sees posts and like, this nigga in touch. Useless nigga. Hey. <laughs> hey. So something. Not to wake you wake. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not just flowers, <laughs> man. <laughs> so anyway, I jump in there and I realize it's only guys. And all the guys were so desperate. They even started asking me for help. Like, do you work here? I'm like, my nigga, I'm also help like you. That's how busy it was. Because you were not wearing a suit, maybe. Yeah, I wasn't wearing was a suit. Was it corporate yeah. homes? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it was all different types of guys. Okay. And some, some were acting too fresh on the phone. This other yeah. guy, if you hear this, he was too fresh on the phone. And he just asked like a typical human being. Like, he just doesn't even say hi. Yeah. Just like, yeah, do you work here? I'm like, no. He doesn't even say, oh, oh, sorry. Or uh, uh, Dog, I wasn't carries even, on. I wasn't even wearing like anything that looks All black. Because yeah, all yeah, black yeah. always gets you in trouble. When yeah, you go to, to the mall, black, yeah. don't wear all black. <laughs> and and I, I, I'm on my phone. You know, it's not like I, anyway. Uh, Valentine's Day was something else, man. Damn. Uh, you guys let us know what you got for Valentine's Day. Uh, and then what was the busiest day for Monday? The busiest day was actually Monday, and yeah. it's it's because of the F con conversation. It spilled it, over to Monday. I thought it would be yeah. Wednesday. Uh, Cause why Wednesday? Because of Valentine's Day. Yeah. Ah, it wasn't as big. Like there was, like you said, a lot of lingerie videos and pictures. <laughs> something up. we we used to. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing new. <laughs> I think they need to bring back what was the challenge? I don't know if you remember it. Was the silhouette it? challenge. Was I think it's the silhouette. It used to go red. And, and then it, it goes red and then it's it's <laughs> just it's a mess. Yeah. It's a mess, mess, yeah, mess. Yeah, sure. So it was Monday and what was yeah. what the reason was? Uh Monday so I just wanna tell you the numbers. Like Monday alone it was one point two million. One point two million nice. tweets. Yeah. And it was all around Ivory Coast because Ivory Coast won. Right, but another big one is the Super Bowl yes. that was also happening on that Sunday. For sure, yeah. Yes. The past, not this, the other Sunday, but the conversation it's spilled over, over to Monday yeah. with the Asha performance. Alicia Keys missing that note, hey. that note, and then Asha holding her like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Asha, Asha. But there's twenty bodies. Oh my god, guys! If you haven't seen the clip, but zooms, would you allow? I, I set up to me. There's no allow. No, 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 no. no That's allow. you are married. You are Swiss beats in that situation. Yeah, sure. Let me, let me. No, no, you are Swiss. The, the, the situation right? would happen, right? Mm. But I would probably be like, babe, hey, that, that, yeah, that didn't look right. <laughs> I, I'll, I, I'll, I'll have a talk with Asha before all of that. And be like, listen here, my boy, <laughs> my boy. But, but Asha, I got a sniper up there. <laughs> Asha gets away with it because it did the same thing to KK, and now their relationship is over. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's crazy. Asha does it to all the women and it somehow is supposed to be okay. Have you noticed? I. But Asha got married recently, actually. So I don't care. Good is married. Or, you can't hold my wife like that. <laughs> <laughs> we cannot. I went and paid Lobola and you are holding. We're eh? performing. We're artists. Hey. When we went to and paid Lobola, did they say our child is an artist? She's a performer. This might happen. She might know Aisha. You know what I'm saying? She might know Aisha. They might be on stage. That might happen. No one said that to me. I, I was never prepared for that. I think the chat needs to be with Aisha because Aisha's wrong for initiating. He's not invited to the next men's conference. What uh-huh. he did? Uh-uh. Yeah, because Aisha couldn't be angry now because but she had to play the role, mm-hmm. even whether she looked like she liked mm-hmm. it or not. Whatever. But Aisha and and. Alicia didn't, no one got paid. Zooms. <laughs> Apparently, Imagine. They, they did the numbers, right? No, they did the numbers, and that's that's good for, for future bookings. Imagine yeah, how many not, bookings not, I got after yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Like, exposure. They, they, they pay them in yeah. exposure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they do, actually. Yeah. They pay them in exposure. But at least if Wifey was coming back with a bag yeah. and be like, yo, he did that, but we got a. We got, we got some. Now she's going to come back with the same scuff team that I gave her. Ah, ah, zoom, skaka. It still has to beg for cookies. <laughs> you know, Americans lied, right? They said the Super Bowl was the most watched television show or something like that. And I think we've had more than that. Like, yeah. Now there's like cricket. Uh, I know the like, UEFA final is the most watched. watched. Yeah. Way more than In the terms Super of one game. But the, World, the FIFA World Cup is number one. One. So, the entire tournament, so but I'm Americans saying one day, as always, it, it, as always, have Americans ever been honest? If they were to ask who are the smartest people on earth, America will be number three or two. Of course, they won't be number one because well, yeah. I know probably you have your Germany or something up there, right? Sure. But they would put themselves in the top five. Sure, and America is the number one sport. I mean, football is the number one sport in, in the world, but it's only played in America. <laughs> American football, you American mean? American football, yes. What did I say? <laughs> you said football, but I, I understand. Football, yeah, they yes. call it football. Yeah, so they're football. That's crazy. But anyway, <laughs> so we were saying the busiest day was Monday. It was Monday, yeah. So there's Ivory Coast Super Bowl, Nigeria. Nigeria is in large because uh, if you didn't watch our previous episode, we were also chirping it. Oh yeah, we're also uh, chirping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing serious, sure, nothing yeah. xenophobic or anything. Yeah. Just healthy banter yeah. with our fellow brothers, yeah. fellow we share sisters. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I was married. I was married. I was married. That's true. Yeah, most common was married. Yeah, born. That's so true, bro. Uh, so we've got the busiest hour and oh, we've got the busiest day. Not the, the busiest, busiest day. So the so all those conversations were around the busiest day. Let's okay. go to the Super Bowl, Asha, yeah, all of yeah. that. Sharp. I know we. I know we almost got carried away up in that spiral. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <that's> true. <laughs> but in terms of hours, in the morning it's actually ten a.m. and nine, followed by nine a.m. Okay. And then in the evening we have eight p.m. followed by nine p.m. Okay, so it's still around about the same. Yeah, time. it's As around always. about the same. As always. As always. Uh, as always, man. Alright, man. So hoba naba tola iman. Hoba naba trend number one. Let's let's start there. Um, shouldn't we start with the topics or should we go into the paid guys? I think let's do the topics first. Yeah, let's do the topics first. Okay, so. let's do the topics first. Top so, trending. Okay, yeah. So who do you want to start with? I mean, there's it's similar topics we've always had. Yeah. Number five. We I think we unpack number five, yeah. which is Valentine's Day, sure, right? Yeah. With 13,000 mentions and 177 million impressions. Nice. So Valentine's Day is like a staple um, everywhere. And when I went to the flower shop, by the way, mm. it was all... This flower so shop was serious. It was serious. <laughs> it was all types of men. Old, <laughs> young, yeah. white, Indian, <laughs> black. Mm. Everybody, my nigga, was getting it. So, yeah, <laughs> Valentine's Day is, is a cult. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, that trended number five in South Africa as one of the top trending hashtags. What was number four? Bro? Number four was, uh, it's a return soldier. Yeah. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> Vote MK sure. 2024. Yeah. Uh, and they, they're just not letting up at all. No, no. I think, yeah, these guys are, hey, they've, they've, they've collected a lot of members in the past couple of months, man. I uh, see the news is, some people are saying that it might, um, they might unsettle a few people, but especially the ANC, because of the KZ and support. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, so that's going to be interesting to see how what Zuma's influence is uh, in the MK party. Sure. Even though there's news of him that he might not even be 
the president of the party. But it yeah. will be interesting to see um, how many people are really behind him and how much support the NC loses and actually joins the MK. We know that politics is a huge conversation right now. Sure. Jacob Zuma videos are trending in quite a lot uh, where people are just talking about him, whether in a good light or in a bad light. Yeah. The MK is a serious conversation in South Africa right now and it seems like they're a serious party, bro. Yeah, yeah. It looks legit to me, man. Yeah, it looks legit. I, I just wonder how the... Um um the 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 current situation with the name right yeah. the mk name yeah. how is that battle ha- uh, how is it going along um because i think the anc took them to court when it comes to that the name of uh, MK. mk yeah which it's a it's an anc name that they are using um, yes is a, is yes a, it's a, a i guess it was a military arm sure, yeah, yeah. ANC. Yeah, ANC, so okay. yeah I just wonder, what did they do the right things? Did they get it as a copyright, what is it, copyright, trademark, whatever? Yeah, yeah. We understand. That. Or they just want to take them to court for the sake of going to court. They can't afford to go to court right now, my G. I think these guys obviously look for anything that makes news. Um, just to be top of mind, eh? To be top yeah. of mind, especially on the social media space. You know, these guys have, under- have understood and they understand that social media does play a role and so does the in-person thing. Mm-hmm. You know? mm-hmm. And then in terms of the political news, I think we... we should we sh- So, resume. Yeah. We should pull a, a Nigeria stand. Do you remember last year around this time? Because they were also having elections yes. and Big Brother Niger was playing. For sure, yeah. Uh, it didn't get as much engagement at a, as it normally does because, because the youth was like, no, we're boycotting that show. We're going to focus on politics for sure and we're seeing big brother Mzanti being uh, number one on our trending topics why is it happening now for example got my elections exactly and Let's, we just got out of, we just got out of bb titans or something we like just that. got out yeah. of bb titans Was it and, yeah, BB titans, yeah, right? yeah i think we should have a social media blackout guys <laughs> maybe for Definitely, a week or yeah, so yeah, and just yeah, yeah. focus on these politics so no, that we no, get our yeah, minds no right no offense uh, to big brother Mzanti and it's, it's mm. the the example that was demonstrated very well in nigeria where the youth they it's took a stand, no yeah. yeah. And when we look, the stats are showing that people mm-hmm. are is a huge topic. Mm-hmm. It's beyond voting. Yep. We haven't even seen vo- like a register to vote nope. come up in our training topics nope. ever. And, and the difference between number two and number one is, is massive. Yeah, for sure. It's, in terms of numbers and tweets, it's yeah. massive. I think, we I think we're doing a lot of work on the voting, but we're not doing it enough. Yeah. Um, but we know that it, like, when it comes to people Mzanze, people don't mind hashtagging Mzanti for every second tweet. Sure. But it feels like when you talk about the government, it's not an inter- yeah. interesting conversation. Yeah. So, I think yeah. conversations like vote MK2024, those are fine. We need yeah. more of those. Vote EFF, vote action, vote ANC. For like sure. those it's are political. the type of conversations yeah. we should be having right now because our country is in a critical state. I don't like talking politics, but I think sometimes you know yeah. <laughs> it calls for it. Right? It calls for it, my yeah. team. You guys let us know what you think of this whole thing. I mean, we are always reporting about stats and like we said big brother mzanzi or big brother in general is always number one or mm. somewhere number two mm. and when it, right now it's during politics and it's so critical for each and every one of us to register to vote and to vote to it 100 percent. so you guys let us know what you think if we should actually have a, a blackout of uh, mm. reality tv shows that stop us from this kind of thing stop yep. watching them and i think yep. we have the power to do that and let's stop watching those apartheid videos also like yeah, let's yeah, let's yeah. think clearly let's sure, not yeah. be be um swayed into a certain direction you understand for let's sure. think for ourselves they're gonna put them on social media i know they have soldiers uh putting these videos there with those other accounts they pay them whatever eight thousand ten thousand oh, yeah, whatever it is just to put yeah. out the video and get other people to retweet it so that we all think good yo this is what we went through so sure, yeah nah, man. Need to vote yeah and uh, this is not sponsored by um anybody but i i why is it i see no 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 they didn't I-C. pay for this it's i see all right so number three number three yeah Still FCON. Sure. FCON 2023. It's still going on. Yeah, it's still going on, but it's dying slowly, right? The conversation is is is, is dying slowly. Uh, I, did, did we give the numbers for MK, actually? Before we do that, hello. Hi. Do you want to be on the podcast? I just, I, I feel like, is it Monday already? Yeah. 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 It's Monday already. It's Buzzer Talk. This is the thing. It feels like you guys are the rush of the week. <laughs> like stop rushing the time. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so, I was at Monday. 
<laughs> it's a reality you. check. Please come introduce yourself. <laughs> Hello, are you really wearing shades and doors? Please come do a check. Hello. Please say hi to the camera over there. Hi. And what is, what is your name? I call and do that and I'm sure you guys can see a little bit. But what's your what's your IG? Or Twitter? A corner. No, it's just a corner one. A corner one. Once upon a time I actually bought the URL a and then I messaged the rugby player and I was like, You're gonna buy it for me. Ooh, oh, you God. heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> I nice to meet you, Akona. Ah, no problem at all. <laughs> Thanks, Akona. Um, so yeah, we still talk about Afcon, right? Yeah, Afcon, straight up. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, we've talked about it. We we spoke about it. I was just giving the numbers now. Sure, like, yeah. there's a lot we've said. We know who won. Yeah, yeah. No, we had a. Uh, a, a listener, a listener, okay, saying hi. <laughs> yeah, in fact, for those who didn't hear, she said she can't believe it's Monday already. Yeah, and she feels like we're rushing uh, the week because we're already here recording. <laughs> so yeah, we record every Monday. But anyway, yeah, so that was our number uh, three. Number three with okay. nineteen thousand mentions and uh, hundred and fifty million impressions. Okay, so I mean, similar. We've always had uh, this number one and number two. Sure. Uh, who's our number one? Number two, number two, sorry, number, number, two. Two. number two is Zintleba Mufukeng. Sorry, not Mufukeng. Zintleba Mufukeng. Who's Zintleba Mufukeng? Yeah, Big she's on Big Brother. Like I said, she's she's like the cosy dweller yeah. of uh, this season. I, I I love how you always say that, and I always I say it's 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 the Liam. Papa Ghost. It's who? Papa Ghost. Papa Ghost. Yeah. No one talks about Papa Ghost. No, no, no. everybody talks about Papa Wait. Ghost. Wait. 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 No, not on X. <laughs> Maybe on SMS. <laughs> I'm telling you. He's trending number one on MMS. <laughs> <laughs> Vote now. No, no, no. So Zinfe is Zinfe. the one. Zinfe and Liama. Okay. Are the, I, I, are the ones I always see in the top Let's ten. Let's your favorites. No, 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 they're not my. F- I don't have a favorite. Okay. I only have one favorite person on earth. Okay. Fair yeah. Enough. Okay. So we saying yeah, the stats are saying. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, which is myself. Which is yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're narcissist. You're narcissist. So tell me, uh, what are the stats for? Uh, Zinche Mufukeng. Zinche Mufukeng got twenty-one thousand mentions yeah. and twenty-eight million impressions. Quite, quite low, but she's gonna grow. You're telling me that. Um, Who's Zintle Mufukeng is Zintle Z. Actually. Yeah, it's the same person. <laughs> oh, so they took the engine number. Engine number, like Juicy J, remember? <laughs> Juicy J is <laughs> See, the engine number, yeah. See, I'm trying to... No. Cl- something yeah, like, yeah, something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, cool. So, but keep the engine number. Yeah. Engine number, straight up. Number one, we have BB Titans. Like I said, aye, different. Aye, aye. BB Mzans, dog. BB Mzans. Because we're talking about Titans. And, of course... The lady who won BB Titans is just always is been trending for the past year. Yeah. She's all out time actually. Yeah, she she was at the I think it was a Yoba something like yeah, Pat's, Pat's youth um, own, uh, yeah, brands. Youth owned brands. Pat was hosting something and Kosi Twala, I believe, was the keynote speaker. Yeah, I think so. Youth owned brands are gonna have or the host. again. Yeah, either so host or keynote speaker, one of the two. For the pre, yeah, yeah, for the pre event. So that's interesting. For those actually that wanna check on there, please jump on his uh, on, on, on youth owned brands. I think it's just good for brands yeah. generally. If you um, have a locally owned brand, locally you can register brand, yeah, and be sure. part of the the awards. Yeah, yeah. And you can obviously also have a stand and all those types of yeah. things there. And then uh, talk to us about uh, what else? Number one. We, number one. Number we, one. We, 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 we're talking about it. Yeah. 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 What are the stats for? Did you give me uh, the stats already? No. It's actually 241,000 mentions and 1 billion impressions. Whoa. Mzanzi is just going. Can crazy. you see the difference between number one and number two? That's yeah, a massive yeah, yeah. difference. I see the difference like, yeah. We're talking Super Bowl numbers here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and these are major numbers for real. So yeah, we'll get this. That's your top five. Yeah, uh, top five, and, top uh, trending. Just a worth a mention. Obviously, our queen Corsi. She's got coffee with Corsi. She's got another episode that just came out. So that's mm-hmm. obviously trending. She's always somewhere in the trending topics. M Zanzi. Nice. So the only people that are left now is who are number Kokelwa. Hey, the paid guys. Yeah. I won't bad Ali. I won't bad Ali. We're seeing uh, new people on here. There's new oh, people here. A new person on here, which uh, is interesting. I know, not know him, but I come across his tweets quite a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Our number two. Number two. Yeah. Uh, I think let's start from number five. For sure. Yeah. Number five is the 
CIC CIC himself, yeah? Yeah. CIC himself <laughs> Julius S Malema yeah eh? Prasello uh, yeah and he's got 19000 tweets and um 280 he was million. mentioned in mentioned yeah, yeah 19000 19000 tweets. tweets jeez that's quite a lot so i mean he definitely um it's because of the politics right now definitely. i think and i think it's obviously what happened at uh, the media launch that they yep. had in durban yep um, and then the number four, con- that conversation spilled, spilled over, over to Monday. yeah it's yeah. still going on yep. quite a lot yeah, yeah. And then we number four we have a MDN news, news. Yeah. yeah return soldier yeah been on the charts proud of them uh, with twenty one thousand mentions and one hundred and fifty seven million impressions. They do Very impressive. really, really well. Yeah, yeah. And then at number three we have who the f is Mick? Who uh, the f is Mick? Is been at it. Uh, yeah, definitely yeah, has been. I actually haven't come account. across. Yeah, I haven't even come across their tweets a lot. But they were mentioned in twenty-two thousand tweets mm. and five hundred and forty million tweets. Uh, yeah, million impressions. Yeah, five hundred and forty million, yeah, yeah, yeah. f- million impressions. That's oh, that's quite a lot for. Who yeah, it's fifty-four F's actually. Fifty-four, 54. million. Yeah. Don't lie to me. Yeah, it is. My bad, guys. Uh, it is 54 million impressions, definitely, for the Who the F is Mick uh, mentioned at number three in South Africa. And at number two, we have a new entry. K Mahapa. K Mahapa. Who, who's K? K Mahapa has becoming like an MDNS news. He's becoming like... Um, he spreads a news. Uh-huh. Yeah. I think when I came across his account, he was like one of those guys that make jokes. was a relatable guy because you... For me, I didn't understand it at first because his jokes were in Tswana or Bedi and I didn't understand them. <laughs> but they were banging because people... Were, yo, yo. Every week. They every ba- day. Every day, dog. But they were banging because people were... Because you see retweets. Crazy, yeah. yeah. Um, but now I think his brand has turned into quite a lot of like news that we see. Okay. So like... Um, uh, do our, you think everyone is pivoting towards that, um, that angle? You it's would a, it's a would, funny dog. Uh, it's about the impressions, it's right? It's about the impressions, Because yeah. if you break the news first, you're going to get the most views, you're going to get re- engagement. For extra. sure, yeah. And even if you're repeating the same news, what I've mm. noticed, the people mm. do it anyway. They'll take the same video that somebody took and it was training, they'll put it on their profile as if it sure. was, and it was they didn't, whatever information. And that happens globally. Babe. Oh, yeah. That happens it doubles with Monaco, yeah. CNN, Al Jazeera, yeah, yeah, and yeah, blah, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. same thing. Definitely. So all mm. those guys do exactly the same thing, actually. And he's, but he, he's, he's interesting. He hasn't, I hope his brand doesn't change to like Abo, uh, Abo number one, Abo Chris X uh, yeah, and um, yeah. uh, the toxic guys. Um, but I think he's like an M Blue J type of guy. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. MDNS News. Type okay. Of guy, yeah. Okay. But yeah, he's interesting for those Tuanaga people, so to speaking people, they can, you'll definitely get him <laughs> even more. Mina is a Zulu gent, yo. Up <laughs> <laughs> it flies boy. Yeah, flies over, boy. over 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 yeah yeah Gabo Hanya on it guys but uh, at number one we have <laughs> what did you just say <laughs> are you swearing at me nigga are you swearing now <laughs> hey I, I am not gonna repeat myself I ain't even gonna lie man I can you even say I love you in Setswana oh uh, at least you know the right but words. people say I say it in a Zulu accent say it again kia ora ata. hey Like it's tough for you to say it. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't that. flow. Up. Pella, it must be like French, you know. Yeah, like of you. Kiaura, kiaura, da. Made it flow. Yeah. Hey, but in Gazul, hey, in Gatanda, Gatanda baby. But anyway, um, K Mahapa was mentioned at number two in South Africa with twenty ten. Uh, tw- mentioned in twenty seven thousand tweets yeah. and at eighty eight million impressions. Impressions, okay. yeah. And then our number one is the most toxic guy. Ow. In the world, in the or world. in the universe, in, in the, or in the galaxy, <laughs> the Milky well, Way. The owner of this platform, I think, is the most toxic because he has the powers. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he, he talks a lot of smack. I ain't even going to lie. Yeah. He does. But at number one, we have Chris XL. Mm-hmm. Uh, steady, eh? Steady at number steady, one. Steady, steady, uh, steady. For sure. Well 20, done, Chris. He was mentioned in 28,000 tweets. So he was definitely mentioned in most tweets. Mm-hmm. And then he has 154. He was Yeah, 154 million impressions. Wow. Um on just his name. So that's quite nice. a lot. A lot of people are definitely mentioning uh oh Chris Axel. Oprah Chris. Oprah Chris. But yeah, we think our top 10 is literally the people that we normally have here about yeah, MJ Destiny yeah. Z. Yeah. Hey, the hey, usual Shane, suspects. Elon Musk, the usual sure. suspects. Yeah. So you guys definitely made it into the top 10 too. Um in terms It's not of like they're not getting paid. They also getting paid. <laughs> they're getting paid. Yeah, but, but yeah, we yeah, focused yeah. on the high enners, eh? the top yeah. enners, the, the top 
The one that never, yeah, they always, they always have money. You young understand, like they, about Chris. So yeah, they, they, they keep. Also, I'm toxic, but I'm rich. I'm rich. <laughs> like he's keeping the township economy is thriving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay, my help. I'm doing the job. Dog. I'm all the F is meek. They actually mm. take it. They, yeah, I mean, it is an American company, so it's fine. They can yeah, do that. Yeah, sir. Fine. Yeah, but about MDNS News, I they mm. keep in the economy. About Julius, I'm a side hustle. Yeah, I'm a side X is a side hustle for him. That must be so nice. But yeah, that's everything for the week, man. That's everything for the week. Um, yeah. We just have our last segment, the end of the week. But in terms of the top trending, who's getting paid, the sentiment, and how many tweets went out this week, the top news that we've covered. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Dude, um, so I came across a video, right, on YouTube. Mm. I think it says, guys, I, can't, I don't know who they are, but they're called Facts South Africa. And they were talking about like food facts about South Africa. Did you know that Marvel Pudding... Is like a tradition, not a South African dish, basically. Is it? Yeah. So, Gusho, if 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 I was to relocate, let's say to another part of the world, I wouldn't get malva, I'm chan. I love would, malva. Eh? You probably wouldn't get malva. Ah. Popoti is a South African meal. Can you guess? Can I you don't guess, care about can that. You, okay, fine. Can you guess another South African meal that you uh, think could make it to a top ten, like of South of South African meals? Papenvors. 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 That definitely makes it onto the video. So if you haven't watched it, check it out. Uh, it's called Facts. Is it? I'm right. Yeah, it's definitely wow. there too. Uh, what is it? Facts? Facts South Africa. Facts South Africa. Yeah, I'll check it out. Yeah, I'll I think you can, if you write facts about South Africa, it should come up. But yeah, it's about 10, uh, 10 fascinating fact, food facts about South Africa. Mm. Yeah, check it out. But I came across it and I immediately got hungry. <laughs> Did you subscribe? Though? Hey, you have to imagine I'm pushing people. <laughs> subscribe here, Baba. Yeah, subscribe here. <laughs> subscribe here. <laughs> subscribe here. First. Yeah, you're busy pushing yeah. other people's channels, but yeah, check it out, guys. Really interesting one. Um, but yeah, that's everything for the week. Uh, if you guys have anything that you probably picked up and that we are missing on, uh, please let us know. There were, of course, there was a lot of football that happened on the weekend. The Premier League, like Man United sure, played, sure. and won. Uh, Chelsea, um, uh, Man City played, and they drew. and Man U. I see you wearing your shirt, bro, with come pride, on, with pride, on. even. Come on, and you know what? For those who know me on Twitter. I said, I said, uh, I'm done with United. Yeah, you did. I did. Yeah, even I think here. on episode one or two, <laughs> you said something about, yeah, I'm no longer a Man U supporter. I'm looking for a team. A new team, Tottenham. Yeah, uh, Tottenham disappointed me. Yo, and guys, I feel sorry for guys who like bet on Betway because there are some short teams like Man City was supposed to win, mm. like against Chelsea. Didn't they, they drew? Oh, Liverpool. Yeah, they won. Tottenham. I think they also drew or they lost. Like. like Yo, that thing is crazy, dude. Whoever bets on Petra, uh, unlucky for them. Mm. Uh, but anyway, before we close off, something else. Natasha, Natasha Tahani mm. uh, um, wrote a, uh, a broke up letter or something like that. Yeah? Who is she breaking up with now? Uh, oh. Remember that, that whole conversation? Didn't they split you know? like a long time ago? So she announced the news, actually. Tembi Kosulosh and I have mutually decided to part ways romantically despite the change in our relationship. We'll remain friends and co-parents. So that's actually recently, right? Just after he played for Sundowns. I think he just made his debut for Sundowns. Hey, I hate being a public figure. That's why I don't even have social media because now I have to announce to the whole world that I'm breaking up with someone. Yeah, I need, I, to, I need to see things are happening. And then we see our girl Bill Tusi. Is a oh, D- girl so she's Tussie. apparently an offici- official DJ now. Oh, is it? Yeah, shout out oh, to Pearl. That's my girl. Man. It's crazy how each and every Twitter account is turning into a news platform <laughs> and every performer is becoming a DJ. De- in fact, every lady, in fact, mm. every beautiful lady, lady, excluding others. I'm kidding. Yeah. But is now becoming a DJ. <laughs> for sure, yeah. It seems like... I mean, it so Bonang sense. is also going to be a DJ now. Uh, Bonang will never be a DJ, that's yeah, for Bonang sure. Yeah, Bonang is made, man. But did you see that video of CIC, Black Coffee, Shoba, uh, uh. uh, Oskido, all DJing or something like that? And then they had prayer uh, and the CIC has and always been, eh? A DJ, ne? Always been. Yeah. Forever, boy. Even uh, when he was still in, in the ANC. Yeah, I yeah, saw that. Yeah. That was a wholesome moment. And I said, it's, it's, I mean, I never mind the facts and what's happening in the country. But it sure. was a wholesome moment to see Black Brothers just coming up like that mm. i don't know i lost row clean in fact i lost row freshly yeah. shaved yeah he's got shaved. a vw cap now <laughs> <laughs> does he have the vw cap yeah, the v- hey i don't know mm. i don't know i don't know my g i don't know my g, but, but does cool mangale out of the week because i really like it the last last week it was uh chicken licking yeah what, what's the end of the week this week this week is the yeezy fashion so the brand is easy fashion that's yes. kanye's ad actually yes. for for the super bowl 
It, it was a Super Bowl commercial. I think we need to play this commercial. Definitely, uh, we'll play it at the end of this video. Yeah, it out. yeah. It's it's one of the I wouldn't say the coolest, but he's challenging a lot of things, right? No, no, no. He let's be honest. He was lazy. He, he wasn't being lazy. No, he was Kanye. being Kanye. No, don't. he was being authentic. That he was guy, being that, himself. That guy was probably drunk in a, in an Uber nah, with bad lighting, bad audio. He, do, do, Kanye can afford all of that shit. No, I think he was like, you know what? I'm just gonna create an ad on my iPhone right yeah, now. Sure, yeah. And they were walking maybe airport, and he started recording a commercial. And that's typical Kanye. That's fair. That's fair enough. Look, I commend him for other things, but Coca Cola still advertises till this day properly. But out of the way. But who says we mustn't challenge those kind of norms? Because Ka- it's a norm that we've been accustomed to. For right? sure, yeah. And Kanye is all about thinking outside the box and not following the rules. So do you, do you think he was late or he strategically did that video? He like strategically that? did it like that. I then shout out because he said he used all he the like money. It to get the slot. Well, yeah. You know how much the slot is, right? Is seven that 30, or something yeah, like that. that 30 seconds is yeah. 7 million yeah. for a brand. Million dollars, not trends, guys. <laughs> now you're celebrating, you're like, next day you're I on Super Bowl. It. Forget. Yeah. 7 million dollars. And I mean, look, you have to go through a criteria to, to actually make it on this. So you sure. think out of the week is the easy ad? Yeah, it's the easy ad. Nice. Only 30 seconds, but quite impactful, man. Yeah, Just kind of laying I'm, it look, out. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of people also no, agreeing no. with this idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm saying, what did you say? Laying it out. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ooh, pause, yeah, nigga. Pause, 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 for real. But um, definitely check out uh, the advert. I'm seeing a lot of people also having good opinions about it. Yeah. Some like it just like, yeah, yeah the genius idea. But it's interesting. And I think this opens up an interesting conversation where, you know, we need to debate more ads because I have a different opinion to what you think. Sure. But, um, you know, it's... It's an ad, and I think it's there for for debate. You guys, let us know what and you think of the I, ad itself. I, I think I want to add more to that. Yeah. Uguti, it it also speaks to the brand essence. A A A Easy. Sure, yeah. You understand? It's it's about being out of the ordinary. The yeah. brand has always been about that. The fashion is not something you would see everyday people oh, for wear. Sure. Yeah, yeah. So I think the ad has to be the same way. Yeah, you for know sure. What I'm yeah. I mean, he's about to. I think he might be partnering up with Nike. I mean, Adidas, sorry, Adidas again. again. I think it might be oh, doing God. something like that again. Um, so, yeah, that's something to definitely look out for. Um, and it, it's surprising if maybe that's the conversation. It's strange that he would do such an ad before, but apparently he made go up from the shoe sales. So the shoe sales see? went up by far. You see? The it, ad it worked. had an impact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of people. Worked. Check out the numbers. I, I'm hoping I can find the numbers, guys, but definitely check it out. The Yeezy advert. People are saying that it actually had a huge impact mm. on the sales, directly on the sales. Damn. Yeah. You Shout see, out. so it's not about the polished video. Yeah. It's about the message. At the end of the it's day. It's about sure. the message. He yeah. delivered a message and people went to the site because he did say, because normally for, for, for Super Bowl, it's like those cool ads that don't have a call to action. He went classic advertising style chief oh yeah he definitely sorry that's an alarm for five o'clock I yeah don't know what ha- i don't know what happens at five what happens at five uh, do you pray are you fasting or no something? it wasn't for praying so oh. i wonder anyway um so yeah i think you said you were gonna call patrice Thank you. Oh, Patrice. Patrice. Mo- yeah, what's oh, it? shucks. Okay. Hey, guys, we're going to have to wrap this podcast up. I can't uh, miss this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't miss this important call to Patrice. Uh, but sorry to cut you off there, bro. Um, but that's everything, eh? That's everything. That's everything. All right. Shout out to Easy. I'm sure the, the advert did really well because we're seeing the sales are going up. So that's the ad of the week. We'll definitely put it in, in the description or at the end of the video and check out the link in the description if we can find it. I'm sure it's everywhere. Check it out. Uh, but yeah, that's the top trending hashtags in Mzansi from last week. For sure. For <laughs> sure. All right. Shout out to our sponsors, uh, Color Space and man, shout out to uh, Brandwatch. Uh, we'll definitely check you guys in the next episode. I do feel like we're missing something. I thought of it. You uh, always say that every week. Every week because we've been promising people things. True. True. Mm. True. So but you we, guys, it's not like we're not cooking in the background, right? Of course, sharp. Okay, There's a lot okay. happening. Fair enough. They can't see the stove. It's not like when you walk into the restaurant, <laughs> the first thing you see is the kitchen. No, no, no. Fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. So that's definitely everything for the week on Spaza Talk. We'll check you guys next week. For Mom Shuti Wabashuti, peace. And your boy, Lips, <laughs> Lebohang in full. Yeah. Eh? Lebohang, but Lebohang, but Lebohang, but Lebohang,
Uh, I can't be in the streets as late, no. See you next week, guys. Ciao.